now. Today is Pentecost. And on the, in the Jewish community, it's called the Feast of Tables, Feast of Weeks, and the Christian tradition, Pentecost. And I went back this morning, Graylin, and read that text on Pentecost and, found, and looked at all the people that God politically had there. It had the Parthians and the Medes. Yeah, they were from Persia. And he had Mesopotamia. They were from Syria and what we call modern day Iraq and, Iraq and Kuwait. He had Judea from there, folk from around Jerusalem, folk from Cappadocia, Pontus, Asia, Phygera, Pamphylia. They were from Roman provinces. Today we would call those Turkey and the black and the Asia around the Black Sea and the Mediterranean. They had folk there from Egypt in Africa. Libya used to be called Cyrene in the Bible, but Libya was there at the day of Pentecost. And the Cretans were there from Greece. And the Arabs today, what we call Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Oman, United Arab Emirates, Qatar, they were all there at Pentecost. I ain't talking about Trump's politics. I'm talking about God's politics. I'm talking about what Bishop Carey said yesterday, that the whole world was a sanctuary. And God got them all there. Good God from Zion. And the spirit fell. And everybody was impacted. Huh? When God moved, everybody had a right to the spirit. Regardless of what country you came from or what your skin color was. All I've come by to say that any doctrine of racism that prevents somebody from any access to any part of this democracy is not just against the American Constitution, it's against the way of God. Because when God moved in a Pentecost movement, everybody has access. And I stopped by to tell you across the nation, we need a political Pentecost. We need a new wind to blow in America. We need a new fire in America. We need some new tongues in America. The tongues of love, the tongues of justice, the tongues of mercy, the tongues of grace, the tongues of everybody got a right to live. We need a new spirit in America. Where every fact, touch your neighbor and say, new spirit, new spirit. We need a new spirit all over America. Turn to your neighbor and say, you belong here. That's the politics of God. Say, you have a vote here. That's the politics of God. We need that kind of thing to break through. And if the parties can't do it, then let the movement do it. But it's time for a political pinnacle. I'm tired of elections being stolen. I'm tired of people pitting black people against white people, against brown people. I'm tired of the legal battles. It's time for us to mobilize. It's time for us to register. It's time for us to have the legal battles we need to have. And it's time for us to change the map, not so much from red to blue, but from wrong to right. And we can do that. We can do that. We can do that because it's time for a political Pentecost in America. And that Pentecost begins with the Poor People's Campaign, a national call for a moral revival.